Hi, for question number 5 of October 2009, A-Level Maths HSC P3, prove the identity cos 4 theta minus 4 cos 2 theta plus 3 is exactly identical to 8 sine to the 4 theta. And for the second part, using this result, find in simplified form the exact value of the integral of sine to the 4 theta d theta with limits from pi upon 3 to pi upon 6. Okay. Now for the first part, we need to prove this. Now I'm going to deal with this one first. We all know that um, cos of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus uh, 2 sine square theta. Therefore, cos of 4 theta is going to be 1 minus 2 sine square 2 theta. You double the angle, you double the angle here as well. Th 2 theta means theta here. 4 theta means 2 theta. So this is exactly as 1 minus 2 sine of 2 theta all squared. 1 minus 2. And what is sine of 2 theta? It is 2 sine of theta cos of theta. And all of that to the square. So we have then 1 minus 2, 4 sine square theta cos square theta. What is cos square theta? It is 1 minus sine square theta. And... Um, all of that in brackets to the square, no, no square because we already squared it. All right, so one minus then two times four is eight sine square theta times one minus sine square theta. So we have then one minus eight sine square theta minus times minus becomes plus eight sine to the four theta. Right, so this is cos of 4 theta. Therefore, cos of 4 theta is all of that, which is then 1 minus um, 8 sine square theta plus 8 sine to the 4 theta, then minus 4 cos of 2 theta. 4 cos of 2 theta. What is cos of 2 theta? It is 1 minus 2 sine square theta then you add 3 as given the question here so 1 minus 8 sine square theta plus 8 sine to the 4 theta minus 4 minus times minus becomes plus 2 times 4 is 8 sine square theta plus 3 so minus 8 sine square theta plus 8 sine square theta cancels out. So we have got then 1 minus 4, which is then minus 3, plus 3, plus 8 sine to the 4 theta. So these two is going to cancel out, and we're left with 8 sine to the 4 theta. And this has been proved here. So this is the first part of the question. Now for the second part, we need to uh, integrate pi upon 3, I mean sorry, integrate sine to the 4 theta with those limits d theta using the result that we have. Now remember that here we got 8, so maybe I can put 8 here or maybe outside won't make any big difference so that's exactly the same as if you integrate this okay you're integrating this whole expression here so integrating cos 4 theta minus 4 cos of 2 theta plus 3 d theta so if you integrate 4 integrate cos you're going to get sine 4 here you're going to divide by 4 so 1 over 4 sine of 4 theta minus if you integrate cos you're going to get sine you integrate 2 theta you're going to get 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 so you got then 2 sine of 2 theta plus 3 theta so this is your integral now the 8 can be set and be divided on the other side. So this can become 1 quarter divided by 8 is 1 over 32. 
sine of 4 theta minus 2 divided by 8 is 1 over 4 sine of 2 theta plus 3 divided by 8 is 3 over 8 theta now you can apply your limits pi and 3 pi and 6 so what we should do now is just substitute 1 over 32 sine of 4 theta 4 times pi and 3 is 4 pi and 3 okay minus a quarter of sine 2 theta so that's 2 pi and 3 okay plus 3 over 8 so 3 times pi and 3 over 8 times pi and 3 is going to become 3 over 24 pi so this is the upper limit minus the lower limit the lower limit is then 1 over 32 sine of 4 theta 4 times pi and 6 is uh, 2 over 3 so we got then sine of 2 pi over 3 okay minus a quarter of sine of uh, this time 2 theta 2 times uh, pi and 6 is pi and 3 and then you add uh, 3 over 8 times theta so 3 over 8 times 1 over 6 that's going to give us uh, pi up in 16 <coughs> sorry so now 1 over 32 times sine of 4 pi up in 3 what is 4 pi up in 3 what is pi up in 3 anyway pi up in 3 is 60 degrees so this is pi up in 3 60 degrees we have 2 here 1 and the square root of 3 sine 4 pi up in 3 will fall in the fourth quadrant here so that's going to be then minus um, opposite over hypotenuse so root of 3 over 2 okay minus a quarter sine of 2 pi up in 3 this is in the second quadrant so this is root of 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 is pi and 8 okay so this is the upper limit minus now the lower limit <coughs> so 1 over 32 times sine of 2 pi and 3 this is basically um, root of 3 over 2 because 2 pi and 3 again is in the second quadrant and therefore this angle here is equal to that angle positive sine is positive in both quadrant so minus one quarter sine of pi and three is root of three upon two again right plus pi and sixteen now minus one over the thirty two minus one over thirty two is minus two over thirty two root of three over two minus quarter um, root 3 over 2 minus minus quarter root 3 over 2 so these two is going to cancel out then you got pi up in 8 minus pi up in 16 is pi up in 8 itself pi up in 16 isn't it sorry pi up in 16 so if you take 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 you're going to get 1 over 16 so 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 it's going to give you 1 over 16. So this is basically then pi upon 16. The 2 and the 2 can go out. We got then um, 1 over 32. All right. So that's the root of 3 over 32. This is plus, remember. This is minus. Right. Plus, this is 16. I can make this 32 if I want. And this is going to become 2 pi. Therefore, this is going to give me 2 pi minus root of 3 2 pi minus root of 3 and all of that divided by 32 so here's your answer for exact value for this uh, part of the question all right take care now